If you've been wanting to start your own branded e-commerce store, but don't exactly know where to start, maybe you don't know what products to sell, what niche to get into, or how to create a logo, or even come up with ideas for that logo, then make sure you watch this video all the way to the end because I'm gonna break it down in probably the easiest way that you can start your own branded dropshipping store. Most people have been using AI to be able to create their dropshipping stores, or at least aid in the creation of them. So usually people are using ChatGPT in order to come up with product titles, maybe some product descriptions, and even product ideas. But did you know that there are more AI models other than just ChatGPT? And a lot of these can actually be very beneficial to our dropshipping business. Using AI in combination with automation can really help us start a dropshipping store faster, easier, and more efficiently than ever before. So in this video, we're gonna go over the easiest way that you can start your own branded dropshipping store using ChatGPT, as well as a program called Midjourney to be able to come up with some ideas for products to sell, along with a logo for our branded store. We're gonna be using ChatGPT to come up with the ideas, and then we're going to be using mid journey to bring those ideas to life so make sure you stick around all the way to the end because this is not just another ai video let's run that intro and let's get to it What's going on everyone, Mario here with AutoDS. And if you like informative videos on the dropshipping business and finding out all the newest ways to be able to start and grow yours, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Recently, everybody's been going AI crazy. So everyone's been loving ChatGPT. Everyone's been using it to either come up with product titles, product descriptions, or even product ideas. Now, if you don't know much about ChatGPT or AI or even how to use it, then make sure you check out this video right here. We have a full tutorial on it for beginners. So there's no denying that ChatGPT is super popular right now because of its ease of use and how useful it is. But your descriptions and your titles are just one aspect of your dropshipping store. There's a few other things that you need to keep in mind and look into a little bit more to start creating a bit more trust with your customers. For one, you need a logo. You need to have a logo that's relevant to what you're selling, especially if you have a niche store. And even if you're running a generic store, it's always good to have a logo that's relevant to a general overall store. Let's take, for example, a dropshipping store that's based around selling mugs. You're going to want a branded dropshipping store or logo that's centered around mugs or household items or kitchen items, anything that's relevant. This, along with proper product descriptions and product titles, really helps build trust in your customers before they make a purchase. And trust is definitely one thing that you need to build with your customers before you have them make a purchase. If they don't trust your store, they're not going to make a purchase. They're going to go somewhere else. Okay, so we're now on the ChatGPT website. And the first thing that we need to do is figure out what niche we want to sell in. So I'm thinking, maybe something along the lines of an upcoming holiday. So let's see what ChatGPT has to say. So at the time of recording this video, it is actually currently the end of March. Now, the next big season coming up or big holidays coming up is either summer. So maybe we can do something along the lines of a dropshipping store that sells bathing suits, or maybe we can do a dropshipping store that centers around the upcoming holiday of either Mother's Day or Father's Day. But I'm not gonna make that decision. I'm gonna let ChatGPT tell me. So let's go ahead and ask it. So when it comes to ChatGPT, we can't ask it directly directly for product recommendations, but we can ask it for niche recommendations and then narrow it down from there. So let's go ahead and start with what niches are good to dropship around summertime. Let's see what ChatGPT has to say about it. Okay, so I asked ChatGPT what niches are good to dropship around summertime, and this is what it gave me. First off, we have outdoor recreation. Then we have swimwear and beachwear, which was actually one of my ideas. I think we're gonna go with that one. We have fitness and health, travel gear, and home and garden. So out of all of these, I think the most relevant one is going to be swimwear and beachwear. By the way, I just want to let everybody know that anything that I'm covering in this video, including all of the prompts that I input into ChatGPT as well as Midjourney, I'm going to have everything for you in an easy to reference cheat sheet. So if you want to copy what I'm doing and tweak it however you want, you can go ahead by using that cheat sheet. All you have to do to gain access to that cheat sheet is just go ahead and comment down below hashtag AI dropshipping along with what you plan to use AI for for your dropshipping store. So do you want to use it to come up with product ideas, product niches, maybe description descriptions or your logo, maybe even your entire store layout. Let me know down in the comments below. All right. So as you can see, that was extremely easy. We now know exactly what niche we want to base our dropshipping store around. Now let's come up with a title and some logo ideas. Okay. So let's start by naming our dropshipping store. Now let's ask ChatGPT, give me a few names for a dropshipping store based around swimwear and beachwear. Okay. So I went ahead and asked ChatGPT for a few names and this is what it came out with. It gave us 15 different ones and 
I'm kind of liking a few of these. I'm actually looking at either Seaside Style, maybe Swim Paradise. I like Sun and Sand Swimmer. I really like that one the most. I think that might be the one that I'm gonna go with, but let's take a look at a few of the other ones. We also have Bikini Beach, Saltwater Style, Aqua Attire. I like that one actually. Wave Wear, Beach Bay Bikinis, but if we do Beach Bay Bikinis, then I feel like that might be niched towards women only, and we won't be able to include swimwear for men. Now, aside from that, we also have Sandy Shore Swim, Island Attire, Beach Boundaries. That one's pretty cool. Sea Spray Swimwear. So out of all of these, I think I am gonna go ahead and choose Sun and Sand Swimwear. So now let's go ahead and ask ChatGPT for some logo ideas based around that title. Now, when it comes to the logo of our dropshipping store, I kinda wanna keep it simple. I wanna keep it minimalistic, something that's not too crazy. And just in case we need to make a few changes to it, it'll be easy to do so. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, the Sun and Sand Swimwear. And I'm just gonna go ahead and ask ChatGPT, give me five minimalistic logo ideas for a dropshipping store named Sun and Sand Swimwear based around a summer themed dropshipping store. I actually just realized I put dropshipping store twice, which it shouldn't matter, but let's just go ahead and leave it like this. All right, let's go ahead and send it off and see what ChatGPT gives us. Now, as a quick note, I do wanna mention that the reason I'm skipping ChatGPT actually typing out all these things is because I am using the free version. And when you use the free version of ChatGPT, it gives you everything at a slower rate. So I'm skipping through it just so that way I don't have all of you waiting as ChatGPT slowly starts typing everything out. If I was using the paid version, it would be a lot quicker, but since we are using the free version, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip those parts so that way we can get straight to the point. Okay, so these are the logo ideas that it gave me. So the first one is a simple outline of a sun and wave. This logo could feature a minimalistic sun icon paired with a simple wave line to represent the beach and the ocean. That's nice, but I feel like it's too focused around the beach. A minimalistic palm tree, a single stylized palm tree icon can evoke a summery vibe and a sense of relaxation. Yes, but I kind of think that as well, it's also gonna center too much around the beach. A beach umbrella icon, kick that one out. A simple sand dune, a minimalistic flip-flop. That's actually pretty cool. A minimalistic flip-flop icon can be a fun way to represent an idea of beachwear and summer fashion. All right, so I'm gonna add to that. Let's take the fifth option and add a bathing suit. Give me an idea for a logo, including the flip-flop, a bathing suit, and water. Keep in mind both pools and the beach. All right, so this is what ChatGPT gave me, asking it to add the bathing suit. The logo could feature a minimalistic outline of a flip-flop with a simple bathing suit hanging from one of the straps. The flip-flop could be placed on a gradient background that fades from a lighter blue at the top to a darker blue at the bottom to represent water. Alternatively, you could use a wave icon or a simple line drawing of a pool to represent water. That looks good. I think I'm gonna go with that just because it keeps it simple and minimalistic. To create a stronger visual connection to the brand name, Sun and Sand Swimwear, you could add a simple line drawing of a sun or palm tree in the background. This can help you reinforce the idea of beachwear and summertime. Overall, the logo could be designed with clean lines and minimalistic style to create a modern, sleek look that is versatile enough to work across various media, including social media, websites, and product packaging. So that's actually exactly what we're gonna be using it for. So let's go ahead and take this, condense it, and then drop it into Mid Journey so that way we can get a full-on already made logo. Before we do that, I do wanna mention that there are a few downsides to using Mid Journey. It's nothing crazy, but it's something that you always need to keep in mind. Okay, so this is Mid Journey. Mid Journey works off of an app called Discord. And what Discord is, is pretty much just a giant messaging app. If you want access to Discord or ChatGPT as well, I'm gonna have the link to both of these websites down in the description below. While you don't really have to do anything in order to start using ChatGPT, for Mid Journey, you do. You're gonna have to sign up for Discord. And then once you have an account with Discord, you're gonna have to sign on to their platform by either going onto it using their browser or downloading the software onto the computer itself and opening it from there. The instructions are fairly simple everything is clearly laid out on the Mid Journey website and access to Discord is also super easy. All of that is laid out on the Discord website. So I'm gonna have the link to both Discord and Mid Journey and ChatGPT down in the description below. Okay, so the way Mid Journey works is by prompts. So you're not gonna talk to it like you would talk to ChatGPT. All you're gonna do is this. So we're gonna go ahead and send a message to the Mid Journey bot and all we have to do is hit slash imagine and space. And then in that little space after prompt, you just tell it what you want it to imagine or what you want it to come up with. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a notepad really quick and I'm gonna paste everything that ChatGPT 
GPT gave me. And I'm going to separate the main points that we want in the logo. And I'm going to put that into mid journey. So from here, minimalist outline of a flip flop with a simple bathing suit hanging from one of the straps. All right, we could keep that. The flip flop could be placed in a gradient background, a lighter blue, darker blue at the bottom to represent the water. Let's go ahead and actually remove that one and replace it with that part right there. Use a wave icon or a simple line drawing of a pool to represent water. All right, so from here, I would choose one or the other. We don't want to let mid journey choose for us. We want to tell it what to use. So use a wave icon or a line drawing of a pool. Let's go ahead and go with a wave icon to create a stronger visual connection of the brand name, sun and summer swimwear. Now, when it comes to text, mid journey isn't the best. So while it will give you a couple of letters, for the most part, it's going to end up being gibberish and you're not going to understand it. So if you want a logo with no text, you can create one of those without a problem. But if you do want to add text, if you want to add maybe your store name to it, then you're going to have to import this into something like either Canva, Photoshop, or whatever app you use in order to edit your images. If you want a bit more detail on creating a logo using one of those apps, then go ahead and check out this video right here. I'm going to have the link to it down below as well. Now, for the purpose of this video demonstration, I'm going to leave it without text. So let's go ahead and see what else we can use on here. So we're going to take this off and we're going to put simple line drawing of a sun or palm tree in the background. Let's go ahead and add that. Use a wave icon and a simple line drawing of a sun. Let's choose sun or palm tree. Let's go ahead and do sun and palm tree in the background. Let's go ahead and remove this part. And that's about it. So I don't know if I want to do minimalistic or if I want to do modern. Let's let's try both. Let's see what it comes up with, with both. Now I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. So let's just confirm one more time. Minimal Minimalist outline of a flip flop with a simple bathing suit hanging from one of the straps. Use a wave icon and a simple line drawing of a sun and palm tree in the background. One last thing that I want to add here is a logo, including a minimalist outline of a flip flop. Okay, that's all I want to add at the beginning. I just want to tell Mid Journey that it is a logo so it doesn't go crazy adding a bunch of stuff in the back. So a logo, including a minimalist outline of a flip flop. Let's go ahead and copy that. And right where we have the prompt, we're just going to go ahead and paste that in there and send it. Okay, so the word bathing bathing is banned. So there are a few terms on mid journey that are banned. Apparently bathing is one of them. Now let's go ahead and change that. That's not a problem. Let's do swimsuit. All right, copy that. Tell it to imagine once more and send it. All right, now we wait. This does take a couple minutes. It's going to take a, maybe about one to two minutes to be able to generate everything. What it's going to end up doing is giving us four different options. And as you can see here, it's starting to load them, it starts to render them slowly. And so far from what I can see, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty cool. All right, let's, let, let's see what it comes up with. The bottom right one is actually looking pretty cool. I'm kind of liking that. All right. So these are the logos that it gave us. Now that little flip flop doesn't fully look like a flip flop. Let's go ahead and change that. So outline of a flip flop. Let's go ahead. And instead of that, let's do a logo, including a flip flop with a swimsuit hanging from one of the straps. All right, let's give it a quick revision and see what it comes up with. All right. So these are the options that it gave us. And out of all of these, the one that I like the most is the one that's on the bottom right, or maybe the top left one. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I'm going to go with the bottom right one. And there's there's a few things that we can do now. So here you have a few different options. You have U1 and V1. U1, 2, 3, 4 means upscale. So whichever one of these you like, you can upscale it and it'll give you a higher resolution version. The second one, the V1, V2, V3, and V4, that means a different version. So if you want something similar to, let's say the fourth one, you can click on V4 and it'll give you four more options that are similar to the one that you chose. This little refresh button here that just reloads the entire thing and tells Mid Journey to give you four brand new options. So I'm going to go ahead and upscale number four. Now now, while a sandal or flip flop doesn't fully resemble a sandal or flip flop, it kind of looks like a foot in the sand to me or a sandal in the sand, like a footprint. So I like how it looks and that's why I'm going with this one. But remember, if you don't like it, you can always prompt it to either switch it up or add something, maybe remove something. Just keep messing with it and keep playing with it. The more you mess around with something like mid journey, the more you're going to understand it and the easier it's going to be for you to prompt it to give you what you want. OK, so now we have our upscaled version of our logo. All we have to do is click on open in browser and there we have it. Now we just have to go ahead and save the image. And one last thing to note about Mid Journey is there is also a paid version. So when you start using Mid Journey, you are going to have the free version. You're limited to a certain number of renders. Once you hit that certain number, then you're going to be cut off. You're going to have to pay monthly. That's usually, I think, about $10 per month. But if you don't want to pay it, just create a new username. All right, so we know what niche we want to sell. We have our logo and we know the name of our store. The next thing we need to do is figure out where we're going to sell. When it comes to your own branded drop,
dropshipping store, typically you're going to go with your own website. So I would suggest something like Shopify, WooCommerce, or Wix. You can also use Etsy, eBay, or Amazon. But when it comes to having your own branded items on there, best options are going to be your own websites. So that way you can also add your own URL. So maybe sandandsurf.com or something like that. Okay, so now once you decide where you want to sell at, the next thing to do is find the products that you're going to be offering. Now, when it comes to finding the right products, that can potentially be a challenge if you don't know where to look. You can find products pretty much on any website to sell. But to find winning products and products that are proven best sellers, that's going to require a bit of product research. Now, one of the best ways to find proven winning products is by heading over to the winning product section over at your AutoDS dashboard. For that, all we have to do is click on over here on the left hand side where it says winning products and you're going to be prompted with tons of winning products that have been proven to sell in the past and are currently trending. And all we have to do here is just start scrolling down and see if we find something that we like that's relevant to our store. For one, we actually have these sunglasses. Sunglasses are definitely beach vibe. They give you a pool vibe. They're perfect for the summertime. There's also right here a colorful print swimsuit. Let's go ahead and click on that. That's perfect for our store. OK, so once we click on it, we're going to be prompted with tons of information. For one, you have all of the different product images here on the side so you can see somebody wearing it and how it looks by itself. Then you also have the details of the title. You have how much the item costs right here, what sizes it comes in and what colors. In this case, it's just multicolor colorful. Now, if you scroll down a little bit more, you're going to see some more information on the product itself and how you can actually sell and market it. So as we saw at the top, the item price for this is actually about $12.96. Most people are actually selling it for about $42.99. So that gives you a potential profit of $28.76. That's a pretty good profit. Now, aside from that, you have an example Facebook ad. Here it shows exactly how it's being marketed on Facebook. As you can see, it's got the best sellers collection spring sale. The name of the company is Atlas Bikini. You see right here how you have the logo and the name of the store. That's why it's important to have a branded dropshipping store. A lot of these ads sometimes have just a very generic name and a very generic logo of maybe even just a happy face. And while it does work, it doesn't build that trust that you need. Having a proper logo and store name can really help build trust to acquire more customers. Now, aside from that, you can see that the ad itself has some pretty good engagement. It has over 10,000 likes, 125 comments, and over 368,000 people have seen it. The target audience that was chosen for this ad. Now, this can be flexible. You can move this around to whatever you need so that way you can start experimenting with different demographics. But in this case, it's targeted towards females between the ages of 16 and 25, both single and married with interests in outdoor summer activities and swimming. Now, as if we didn't give you enough information on this particular product already, we have a little bit extra with the AutoDS Insights. So here we give you a bit of insight as to everything that you see on the page and you have an example seller's website. So if you click on the link, you're going to see exactly how it's being sold. As you can see, simple, clean, modern website. Now that's just one way of finding your products using AutoDS. Another option is by going to a supplier like AliExpress and searching up something relevant to what you're going to be selling. So let's say swimsuits. Here you have all the different options that AliExpress is offering, both for men and women in tons of different styles. Now to find which ones out of all of these are best sellers, we can easily filter it out by just going ahead and choosing four stars and up. That can assure us that whatever we order is going to be of higher quality. So if you see here, these first two have over 338 units sold with an average 4.7 star rating. That's pretty good. The second one has 272 units sold with an average rating of 4.9 stars. Once again, that's a really good indicator. And you can see here, this is actually one of the top selling on AliExpress. Another really good thing that's good to look out for is this right here that gives you free shipping as well as free returns. So I actually really do like these swim shorts because it does have really good reviews. It has a 4.9 star rating and a lot of people have ordered it. So this gives me the comfort in knowing that this supplier is trustworthy and I'm not going to have any problems with them. So I'm going to go ahead and import this to my store really quick. I'm just going to go ahead and copy or cut that URL. I'm going to run back to AutoDS and then I'm going to go ahead just really quick and add products. I'm going to add multiple. So let me add the URL here and let me add that last one that I saw as well. This pattern leaf swimsuit. I'm going to go ahead and take that URL and paste it right under. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm just going to go ahead and click on add as draft. And that's going to import it directly to my store under the drafts page. I just have to click on drafts over here really quick. And I can make any necessary adjustments to the listings before I make them go live on my website. So we have our store set up. We know what niche we're going to sell in. We know what products we're going to sell in. We have it branded already with our name and our logo. Now we need to start marketing our brand. And I'm going to go ahead and ask ChatGPT how we can do that. So here I'm just going to go ahead and ask ChatGPT 
give me a few marketing ideas to market my drop shipping store based off of sun and sand swimwear. All right, so these are the ideas that ChatGPT gave us in order to market our sun and sand swimmer brand. So the first one is social media advertising. It's telling us to use a platform like Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest to market our brand. Now there's one critical platform that's missing from there and that's TikTok. Now the reason for that is simple. Keep in mind that ChatGPT only goes up to the year 2021. While TikTok was a thing back then, it wasn't as popular as it is now, especially for drop shipping and for advertising or marketing your products. So ChatGPT isn't really thinking about that because again, it's only taking into account things that are going on up until the year 2021. Now, aside from that, it also has influencer collaborations. So it is including influencer marketing. Now, if you want some detail into influencer marketing, we have a whole article that's based around that where you can learn pretty much anything you need to learn about how to market your brand using influencers. If you want access to that, just go ahead and check out the description down below. I'm going to have the link to it there. Now, next up, we also have email marketing, content marketing, which content marketing would go pretty much with social media marketing. And you can use things like Instagram reels or TikTok. It's pretty much just making videos about it and posting them online. You have referral marketing, collaborate with travel agencies. That's pretty interesting and offer free shipping. So the ones that are more relevant to us as drop shippers are going to be the social media advertising, the influencer collaborations, the email marketing and the content marketing. Now, really quick, going back to the content marketing, I do want to clarify that that's not just making videos. You also have different forms of content. You have blogs, YouTube videos, and just overall social media posts that can be a part of content marketing. Now, once you have everything set up and you start marketing your products and you start making some sales, next up, all you have to do is just start fulfilling the orders. So you have a couple of different ways you can do that, either being the manual way or the much easier automated way. Using the manual way, you're going to go ahead and go on over to your suppliers, let's say AliExpress, and you're going to place the order that you receive from your customer. So your customer is going to order the two piece swimsuit. So you're going to go on over to AliExpress, place the order with them using your credit card details. And then once that item is shipped, you're going to update your customer with the tracking information. Now, the other much easier way is by using automation. At AutoDS, we have two different ways that you can do this. You can either use automatic orders or you can use fulfilled by AutoDS. The main difference between the two is the fact that automatic orders are going to use your own buyer accounts along with your credit card details to log on to your supplier's website and fulfill the orders automatically. So AutoDS is going to do everything on your behalf using your credentials. Now, if you decide to go the fulfilled by AutoDS route, that makes things a bit easier because AutoDS isn't even going to use your account details or your credit card details. AutoDS is going to use its own AutoDS accounts on sites like AliExpress, maybe Amazon, CJ Dropshipping, wherever you have your suppliers. And instead of using your credit card details, it's going to use a balance that you top up. So you're never going to have to worry about having your credit card declined or not having enough funds. Afterwards, regardless of whichever method you choose to go with, AutoDS will update your customers with the tracking information. If you're ever stuck or need any help in starting your dropshipping business, whether it be starting the store itself, finding winning products to sell, maybe choosing a niche or designing your store or even choosing what platform to sell on, always remember that over at AutoDS, we have your back. So we are here to help you succeed. For one, we have our AutoDS e-commerce dropshipping blogs. Here you can find pretty much anything you need. You can find an article on just about anything. You can find best sellers, tips and tricks and best niches. Aside from that, we also have this YouTube channel that's filled with informative videos that people watch every single day and find value in. People comment all the time, letting us know how informative they find our videos. So if you're not subscribed just yet, make sure you do so before clicking off this video. And if you found this video informative, if you found it helpful, also make sure to leave a like. Huge thank you to everyone for watching today. Hopefully you found this video informative. Once again, my name is Mario with AutoDS, wishing you all nothing but success in your dropshipping journey. And I'll catch you all in the next video.